Okay, everybody. So welcome to the second lesson of checkerboard. So when we did the first one, we learned how to multiply um, multiple cans by single digit multipliers. If you haven't practiced that a lot, I recommend you practice that. But today we are going to multiply multiple cans by two digit multipliers. So I'm gonna make a problem. Six, oh, upside down three, and two, that, and we're going to multiply this number by 43, okay? So I'm going to flip this over because we always start with the units, and this is going to be just like the lesson before. We are going to multiply everything down here, starting with the units, by three. So four times three, three times six, Whoa. three times three, three times two. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and count these up. Four times three is 12. So picture 12 in your head. Remember, it's a one and a two. The two goes in the square we counted, and the one goes next door. Leave those sixes there. Now we're gonna count these. So we have six, 12, 18, 19. So picture 19 in your head. You're going to need a one and a nine, and that looks like a nine, right? One, nine. I'm gonna take these out. Whoa, counting things, it's crazy. The nine goes in the square we were counting and the one goes next door. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. Three, six, nine plus one is 10. Hmm, I want you to picture the number 10. It's a one and a zero, like this, right? The zero goes in the square you counted and the one goes next door. And to represent a zero with beads, we just don't put anything. Okay, so now we have this. Two, four, six plus one is seven. And that's just a one digit answer. So we only need one square for that. Okay, so we have our first partial answer. And remember, an answer to a multiplication problem is called a product. So we have our first, first partial product, okay? We're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna flip the four over. And here we have to start on this row. Okay, so four times four. Crazy, crazy beads. Four times six is gonna be there. Whoa. Oops, I only have three. One more. Four times three goes right here. And four times two. Three, four. Okay, so we're gonna start over here and we're gonna do some counting. Four, eight, 12, 16. Picture 16 in your head. A one and a six. This number goes in the square we counted. This one goes next door. So it looks like the number 16, a one and a six. Okay, now we're gonna add all this together. Six, 12, 18, 24. Plus one is 25. So we're gonna picture 25 in our heads a two and a five, take these out. The five goes in the square we counted and the two goes next door. Oh, it's rolling away. Crazy two, right up there. Okay, so let's count three, six, nine, 12, 
13, 14. So picture a 14 in your head. It's a one and a four, like this. The four goes in the square we counted and the one goes next door. Wow, that square really likes to have beads roll, doesn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna add these. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Whoa. Okay, so we have our second partial product all multiplied and ready to go. Now, you remember before when we would always read answers, everything was down here on this bottom row. Well, that still needs to happen. So I want you to watch carefully what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine my like categories. That means this is a 10 and this is a 10. So I'm gonna slide this down. This is 100 and this is 100. I know there's nothing there, but it's still 100. I'm gonna slide this down. This is a thousand and this is a thousand. I'm gonna slide it down. This is a 10,000 and this is a 10,000. I'm gonna slide it down, okay? And now we have one more thing to do. We need to go back and make sure there's only one bead bar in each square. So do we have one bead bar here? Yeah, that's the number two. What about here? We have two bead bars, don't we? So we need to add them together. So this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So picture 15 in your head, a one and a five. This number goes in the one we counted. And this number goes next door. Okay, so we have one bead bar there. Look here, oh, now we have two. Five plus one is six. Put that there. Now let's go here, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Picture 11 in that head of yours. What two little digits do we use to make that number? A one and a one. This one goes here. This one goes next door. Okay, now we just have to add these two. Nine, 10. Oh, there's another 10. So picture 10 in your head. What does it look like? It's a one and a zero. This number goes in the square we were counting, and this one goes next door. And remember, the way we represent zero with beads is we just put nothing. So we have our answer. So we're gonna just look at this right here, 110 unit. This says 101,000, because this is the thousand family, 652. 2,364 times 43 equals 101,652. Awesome, let's do another one and get reset here. Okay, you guys. So we are going to multiply 8,327 by 32. Okay, so again, we always start with the units. So we're gonna multiply everything down here by two. So two times seven. This time, instead of setting out the actual two sevens, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to just set out the answer. So two times seven is what? It's 14. So again, picture 14 in your head. It's a four and a one. This goes in the square we are counting, and this goes next door. Okay, 14. Two times two. What's two times two? Four. Now, if you wanted to, you can add this up, but I'm gonna to wait to do that until the very end. Two times three is what? Six. Two times eight is what? 16. So picture 16 in your head. It's a one and a six. The six goes in the square we were multiplying and one goes next door. Okay? So let's make sure there's one bead bar in each square, one, Oh, we need to do this. Four plus one is what? Five. And then we have one bead bar, one bead bar, one bead bar. Okay, 
that means we can go on to our tens place. So this says we have to multiply everything down here by three. So we have to do three times seven. What is three times seven? Three times seven is 21. So the one goes in the square we were multiplying, the two goes next door. So now we need to do three times two right here. What is three times two? Six. Now we need to do three times three, which is nine. And three times eight. What is three times eight? 24. So we put the four in the square we were multiplying and the two next door or ahead of it. Okay, so let's make sure we have one bead bar on each square or in each square up here. One bead bar, but here. And we gotta add them. Six plus two is eight. Cool, and then we have one bead bar, one bead bar, one bead bar, cool. So now we need to slide the like categories together. 10 with the tens, hundreds with the hundreds, thousands with the thousands, 10 thousands with the 10 thousands, and look, we even have 100,000. Getting some pretty big numbers, huh? So do we have one bead bar here? Yeah, we're by here. Five plus one is six. Eight plus six is what? 14, picture 14. The four goes in the square we counted, one goes next door. Okay, now let's look at this. We have one plus nine plus six. Well, one plus nine is 10, that's pretty easy. 10 plus six is 16. So picture 16 in your head, a one and a six. Six goes in the square we were counting, one goes next door. So one plus one is two, two plus four is what? Six, another six. Uh-oh, crazy one. So we have our answer. Let's go ahead and read this. We start here. If it was just 266, it'd be 266. And what family is this? Thousands, so 266,464. So 8,327 times 32 equals 266,464. Good. Now, say you wanted to do a problem that had three digits up here. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really not any different than what we just did. So we're gonna multiply 3,000 642 by 432. Sweet. So we're going to do the first two rows the same exact way we did it before. Everything down here is going to be multiplied by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Picture 12 in your head. 2 and a 1. Two goes in the one we were multiplying, one goes next door. Two times three is six. Let's make sure there's one bead bar in each square. One bead bar, yes. One bead bar, yes. One bead bar, yes. One bead bar, no. Six plus one equals seven. Now we have to go up here and multiply everything down here by three. So. This would be three times two. What's three times two? Six. This would be three times four, which is 12. Now here, three times six is 18. And then three times three is nine. Don't roll on me. Okay, so we go back and make sure we have one bead bar. One bead bar, yes. One bead bar, yes. 
and bead bar? No. Eight plus one is nine. Okay, one bead bar? Nope. We have one plus nine, which is 10. Zero, one. Do you remember that? Zero with beads is just nothing. Okay, so this is exactly what we did last time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop from here up to here and we'll multiply all of these times four. So two times four is eight. Four times four is 16. The six goes in the one we were multiplying. Six times four is 20. Four. And then four times three is 12. Okay, so let's make sure there's one bead bar in each square. Is there one bead bar? Yes. One bead bar? Yes. One bead bar? No. Four plus one is five. One bead bar? No. Two plus two is four. Whoa, the four is going crazy. There we go. One bead bar. Okay, so we're done with our multiplication. We're done with our multiplication, but we have to get all the like categories together. So the tens with the tens, hundreds with the hundreds, all the way down, thousands with the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands with the hundred thousands. Oh my goodness, look, in a million. Whew. So we're on the last step. This is a big number. Let's see here. <clears throat> One bead bar? Yeah. Here? No, we have to add these. Eight plus six. What is eight plus six? Eight plus six is 14. <coughs> Excuse me, there's 14. Now we gotta go here. We have eight plus two is 10, 11, 12, 13. So picture 13 in your head, you need a three and a one. Three goes in the one we are counting, one goes next door. Now we need to add all this together. So nine plus one is 10, 10 plus seven is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Picture 23 in your head. A two and a three. Three goes in the one we are counting, two goes next door. Five plus two is seven. One plus four is five. And then we only have one bead bar here. Oh my goodness. So let's count this or let's read this. 3,642 times 432 equals 1,573,300 44. It's pretty sweet, huh? That's a big number. One million. 573,344. Okay, so um, I recommend practicing this. I think one of the most difficult parts is always putting down the final answer, making sure you do that appropriately. If you have any questions at all, please message me, email me, call me. Um, I'd be happy to Zoom with you and go over it. Anything that you need, you just let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks, I appreciate it.